name is Bilal Jan. I'm the project manager of UAV Project. Uh, the design requirements uh, consist of uh, unassisted takeoff, uh, carrying payload, uh, two minutes endurance, and figure eight maneuver. We did with uh, we started with the market research uh, and did some initial calculation uh, to determine the wing loading, uh, surface area required, span, and the cord length. My name is James Hardingham and I'm in charge of piloting and manufacturing the aircraft. After the initial design stages and sizing, we started cre the creation of the wing. So the wing was made from uh, foam. So we used 6mm thick white Depron foam with a GOE 79 aerofoil cutout, which was covered with the 2mm foam to create the aerofoil shape. This was reinforced by some carbon rods that were glued onto the leading edge and trailing edge of the wing. The fuselage section was created from four pieces of foam uh, that were glued around a 3D printed square former. The empennage section was connected to the fuselage then by an aluminium rod that was cut to size and was also able to be adjusted. The tail section was then made from a 6mm piece of foam and the last step was to create the landing gear which was created by bending a wire and using the wheels collected from our previous aircraft. My name is Mark Wakefield. Um, I'm responsible for the 3D modelling and manufacturing of the aircraft. Um, after the flight test of the first model, we noticed some issues that were identified. Um, one was the torque effect due to the propeller. <coughs> Another one was the incorrect CG. So the aircraft was uh, tail heavy and this resulted in um, stalling of the aircraft. Incorrect wing loading, so when we calculated the wing loading we didn't um, consider the surface area where the wing is connected to the fuselage. Um, the control surfaces are exposed to the wind so and the, the prop wash, so this results in the control surfaces actually fluttering and the um, 
control whilst fluttering. Um, the aircraft is a really rigid design, so with adhesives that are really strong. So this results in every time we're crashing, the aircraft is absorbing a lot of the impact, which results in we have to replace parts and things like that. Um, the tail boom is made is an aluminium rod, so this results in um, bending after impact as well. So these are the issues that were identified. I'm Adam Jeffrey. I was involved in manufacturing and research for the UAV project. Um, so our second design for the aircraft implemented a new empennage section where we got rid of our previous aluminium boom that was creating too many issues for us. Specifically when we impacted the ground it would move. Uh, we reduced the overall adhesive we've been using on our aircraft. This was creating too many issues, there was a lot of weight introduced to the aircraft and also every time we crashed it was just a nightmare having to deal with all this adhesive so we've replaced that with rubber bands for our securing. Uh, we've optimized our control rods. Uh, initially they were compressing a lot in flight so we've created some guides for them so that they don't compress nearly as much specifically when we're trying to actuate the rudder and the elevator section of the aircraft. And then we changed our overall wing design slightly. We increased the area of it um, and increased its overall aspect ratio whilst implementing some dihedral to give ourselves some better directional and lateral stability.
here so we know that which one where the right position is uh, and once we know the right position we will permanently uh, attach the line here yeah. with yeah. the double-sided tape and that will be the most and also mark where the coin is as well so you know that that's the exact right point where the aircraft should be so you mark the coin as well Placing the tape so we can hold the aileron servos down a bit better because at the moment the double-sided tape isn't doing its job. And it's just coming off during flight. Yeah. 